man gave you. It means savage. You are not savages. You are the children of God according to the Bible. You are the children of Israel. Before you started worshiping totem poles, you was worshiping the true living God. That's right. Before you became an idol worshiper, you was worshiping the true and living God. And this is the reason why this land was taken away from you. Because you worship everything except the Most High. You worship every creation except the Creator. That's right. And that's what we are here to tell you to do. We are here to tell you to wake up to the four corners of the earth. This is the truth of the only Bible. We don't have a microphone, brother. Okay, and this is the this is the part of freedom of the speech and freedom of religion, and that's what we out here for. Okay, and uh, I hear you. I honor our God. We honor our God, brother, and that's what we are here to tell you. What you have to do, you have to come away from the law. You have to come away from your religions, philosophies, and doctrines, and start worshiping the true and living power, which which his name is Yahweh. That's who's the, the most high God. That's right. The most high God, his name is Yahweh. You're not right. supposed to worship eagles, buffaloes, That's rams, right. Right. all types of animals. That's right. This is the reason why the Lord took away your land. Why am I so angry? Give me all Proverbs 7 and 7. No, no, no. I'm going to show you. Ecclesiastes. You're This what we mad at. We, this what we mad at. Right, you don't even know what's going on. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Verse 7. Yeah, give me that first. Surely oppression maketh a wise man wise. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. The Lord says, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. The Lord says, surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. You talk about why we're mad. You damn right. The most high said. The most high said, surely oppression make a wise man mad. If you're not mad, you won't have no wisdom. Where are you from? We're from here. We're natives too. My people are so-called Puerto Ricans. Yes, we are from the tribe of Ephraim. This is your tribe. This is your nationality. You're not an Indian. Indian means savage. You know where that name came from? You know where that name came from? It came from the so-called white man. That's what happened. Okay? Who told us that? Look up the word Indian. Right. You find it out for yourself. Indian means savage. They was naming you after the people in India. Exactly. I know. I know the name of my I'm land. I know the name as a of my whole. Just like our people call themselves the black. There's nobody black. Nobody matches this color. There's nobody white. Nobody matches the color of this. You understand? We are the children of Israel, and that's what we are here to do. That's right. That's right. Indian means savage, brother. I don't know where you got that from. Look it up, brother. I did look it up. I'm a historian. Okay. It came so, from the Indio. It came from a Spanish word, Indio. Right. Which means God. God like people. That's what it means. Indios. No, God, yes, Indios. yes. Indios, yes, God like people. But Indian, that word means savage. In the English, in the English text, in the English dictionary, in your Webster's, it means savage, man. The that's, white that's man. The Right, the so-called white, just like me, he calls us Puerto Ricans. That means port of riches, rich port. That was the name that the conquistadors gave us, the Spaniards. You understand? So these are the derogatory names, and we're trying to tell you that these names are your true names. Well, you know, Guatemala and Panama, right. those are indigenous names. They have their own meaning. And we should first Salaki. Salaki. One sec. Are you from Panama or Guatemala? I'm from Biscayne. I'm from Panama. Okay, so now I'm indigenous from Panama. So right, you just said this was because of us. We indigenous. Right, so we out here fighting for you and our own family. Right. So you just, you just totally insulted us and told us that we wasn't you. And we wasn't your family. Salaki, I'll go ahead, my bad. I'm from the same people, and we follow a lot of idols. We we follow a lot of idols. Go ahead, King. Go ahead, King.
you gonna have peace to this land and this earth? Trump can't get nowhere. You got this madman in the White House. You got a what madman? Man. Sick, man. I'm not talking about this man. I'm talking about the madman that shut the government down. That's right. That That's right. Right now, all the people on the reservations ain't gonna get no food. Stamps. That's right. All the people in the projects in exactly. the ghetto. That's right. Bring it out. That's right. Pompous bastards over there wearing Make America Great. That's right. Little right. Billy. This is the one. Why Little corny ass, ass Billy in there. Why are you not angry at Little them? Little corny the ass earth. Billy Bob. The earth. Why are you not angry the at them? Okay. Yeah, go talk to them. Put them them Make America Great hats on. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I'm not one of this messages Right, not the creation. You don't worship the sun. You're not supposed to worship the stars and the moon. You're supposed to worship the sun. The sun is part of the creation. No, the sun is a creation. You worship the creator, not the creation. And that's the reason well, why we Why do you want to separate listen, the creator from the creation? I'm not separating it, but you I'm think telling the you. The sun separated itself. Listen to me. I'm telling you, sister. Listen, listen, listen. Half of understanding is listening. That's a part. Right. You understand? Oh, well, that's so, what I'm trying to say. Well, I'm trying to no, show you something. We're here trying to have the. This is. Uh, you, know, oh, you know how many years. Listen. Peace. You know how many years our people been saying no justice, no justice? Right. How many years we've been marching? And protesting, that's, and guess what? The white man ain't listening to you. Exactly. The white man don't give a damn about your march, His about your about none of it. No, you His gotta come Adams back. Listen, listen, okay. sister, listen. If you pay attention, you okay, might learn something. See, you just want to talk. You're not proud, trying to learn. You she trying to be distractive, huh? She trying to stop the flow. That's all. Let's go with you. No, I didn't ask What's you your what question. Where the hell is this going at, man? Okay, sister, so what is your point? I'm just saying there's a lot more involved. You just you just interrupting and I'm I'm trying to show you something. Men don't have babies. They don't I mean they can have the sperm comes from a man's testicles. Okay? So the baby is considered what the father is, and that's in the Bible. That's right. Let's get that. And you see this? This is the problem, Israel. There's always our women coming up with their loud mouth, thinking they can run and bogar things, thinking they can come and distract things with their loud ass mouth, because they're not used to dealing with no real men. And we, you think we supposed to bow down to your damn emotions when you coming to run your mouth and distract what we doing instead of coming with order and with a real dialogue. She's coming around here being wicked. She got to talk to the, the speaker, man. She got to talk to the speaker. They trying to be snicking and disrupting. Order. Order. You don't have no decorum and you're out of order. Where's your husband? Bring your husband here. Let me speak to him. That's right. That's right. Is that what you would say? That's right. That's right. Exactly. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because you're talking this order. You won't do it. You won't do it. That's right. I don't need to. I know. You won't. I did. I know. I would. I hear you. I don't need to. 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 I
That's right. right. And that's the reason why and that's why you move. talk like that. And because the listen, you are a fat out Indian. You right, go there, you fat out Indian. In you. you ain't no child of God. You are the like devil. That. You are and fake. You are fake damn fat out Indian. That's right. Go that way. You're not that's our right. people. Stop trying. To, you always want to take our culture. That's right. Just like the white man. That's he right. wants to be the Egyptians. That's right. He wants to be the Israelites. Right. He wants to be everybody. Here go this damn demon. So, Cause you blow a ram horn doesn't make you our people. And that's you're right. a damn. You're a damn uh, a culture vulture. That's right. You're a culture all vulture. All no all nations. You're a damn blue-eyed demon. You damn dumb. Right, that's, that's the last Mohican. You lost your mind. Let's get back. I'm sorry, brother, but I got to deal with these demons. And, and I got to dismiss it. But she's coming to be a star. Look at this Edomite right up in the middle of all of our, our they always come up and they're trying to disrupt. Look at this Edomite. I got a Bible dictionary. Give me the Bible dictionary. Bible. Slock it, Israel. Slock it. Hey. So we didn't, we didn't sell won't y'all come up and ask a question, Billy? Don't don't stand to the side and mock. Bring y'all crack ass up here and make a and, and make a statement. They got a statement, Slock here, Ma. Yeah, tell them come over here in the lion's den instead of mocking over there. You little dirty ass crackers, your day coming. Your day coming. Your day coming. Because you little dusty asses wouldn't walk down the street in a black neighborhood and go walk up on nobody playing no games like that. Yeah, I will stick my foot in your little ass. Think it's a game over here. And we can give a hell about your police. See, that's the problem. Most people think that that's done, that that's over. Ain't nobody playing with these dusty ass crackers out here. I'm going to show you. Judah and Aaron is two different people. Let me show you that in the Bible dictionary. Give me that. Right it's the Bible dictionary. Look, look, look. It's the Bible compact dictionary, page 213. And the youngest son of Noah, born probably after Slaki, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Go ahead. Not the Negroes. That's right, brother. Not the Negroes. If you remember, all, all of us had color. When color diminished in the Bible, when the so-called white man came on the earth, was when he came. He saw his bread in hell. The, the so-called white man ain't white. If you smack the white man, what color you turn? That's the information right there, brother. That's the information, brother. You need one, sister? Excuse me for that. We just got to be dealing with some people like that. All right? Youngest son of Pro, born probably about 96 years before the flood. And one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor. He became the progenitor of the dark race. He became the progenitor, but not the Negro. But not the Negro. But not the Negro. So if, let me get, let me let me show you. If you have a black pit bull and a black rottweiler, are they the same breed? No. So color they are dogs, though. Right, but color don't mean nothing. You understand? That's a real gadite right there. A, a so That's a Neil Mexican, real native so right there. Mexican, they'll look, they'll have blind real hair, native. But if their father, if the descendant, if it's the father, he talking about Jacob. He talking about Laban, Laban and Jacob. Laban and Jacob. Nah, the most. The point is, you going everywhere with it. Yeah, you going around the world. Esau, the 
so-called white man came in the first and after Esau. Esau was in reincarnation, according to scripture, and we can go into it, but that's another big breakdown. You don't have to call the number. You can find that out. Esau, Esau is Cain in reincarnation. You understand? Right. So, so the, there was no white people on the earth. Everybody was people of color. Even the original Chinese were people of color. Uh, House of Everybody Israel, D.C. Oh, real? Yeah. Um, okay. We got an allergy. Huh? We got an allergy. Okay. We House of Israel, D.C. Right. We in Bloody Mary. Call Harry? us YouTube channels and all of that. What time? That's Jackie Savage Mom? Yeah, we keep it to the day, but we're going to... We gonna, I'm going to probably rest the mile after the day because we're going to leave here and go to Eastern Market and hold a camp down at Eastern Market in front of the Starbucks. So we're going to have a long day, so we're going to probably rest the mile. But anytime next week. We're, not, we, we're, from, we're from Atlanta, so we're okay. in town, yes. Yeah. see, we got Atlanta camp. Uh -huh. Yeah, how about the brother that you got His wife in Atlanta. Uh -huh. he, live, he, got a, he live in Atlanta. Okay. We are, we, we, these are our people. They just don't know who they are. Fluctuate this for me while I read this for me. It's because they can't hold this while I read this for me. Yeah. I'm gonna read this. This is the Northern Kingdom. They just don't pull it. You understand? And the reason why God took away everything and gave to the land because they were worshiping the creations and not the creation. So in this argument, it shows me that when they came to the continent, they gathered up. Oh, my God. 
serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So the Lord said that's the reason why we're in this condition. Because we want to, and I'm telling them, they're worshiping totem poles. They worshiping buffalo. You, you understand? Right. Our people, we, we follow into Egyptology. We worship like Jesus now. We worship the Catholicism, Christianity. We worship the sun, And what's the first commandment of the Lord? There you go. You see? So that's what the soul is So everything you look at, I don't worship it. This damn symbol? You do? What's your name? Deborah. Deborah. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. You got a fly. You need a fly, sister? You want a flyer? You in the area? You in the area? Yeah, I'll be on um, Eastern Market in front of the Starbucks. Yeah, 7 o'clock on Fridays. Um, here in Washington? Yeah, Washington, D.C. You in, you in the area? On Eastern Market. I live in Silver Spring. We right on the...
Yeah, we'll come out there. We'll come out there. Yeah. A, a Jewish person, right? Amalek. She says she follow us. She follow us. Yeah. Matter of fact, look at her sister. Let me get. Let me get a, a gander of them sister. That the, okay, see that? So before we got interrupted, what we out here trying Sock to do is wake up our people to the truth of the Holy Scriptures, to the truth of the Bible. You are the children of God. You are the chosen people. So we are here to warn you and give you a warning from the Lord. We're not out here to judge you. Judgment comes later. We are here to warn you before judgment comes. And judgment is on its way. As you look around right now, look at it, every world power has a nuclear bomb face this way. Y'all talking about peace, peace, peace. Friends. Ain't gonna be no peace. Right. Look at that brother fringes. It's when the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings sets that peace. Right. And that's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai. And if you look around, there's nothing that can save this world. How long you been marching? How long you been protesting? How long you gonna say no justice, no peace? Where's the damn no peace at? Where's the no peace? Everywhere you look, go to the casinos, go to the reservations. It's worse than the projects. That's it's right. It's worse than Compton. That's it's right. It's worse than Brownsville, Brooklyn. But y'all don't know that. Y'all don't see the similarities. We got, we got the same old press up. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. That's right. That's right. Hear that? Hear that? We can gather. Gad said together, that. But let's gather in, that's in, right. in truth and in the commandments of righteousness. That's right. That's how we get our power. That's right. When you look at every every time the Israelites went to war, they they went and when they lost the war, it's because they fell away from God. That's right. But when they won the war, it was all glory to the Father. Look at the Samson movie. The Samson movie, even though they had a uh, it looked like a North American, it looked like a brother. But he, 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 he was still mixed up. But you see, every time he was he was under pressure, he said, Lord, give me your strength. And the Lord gave him his strength. That's where our strength come from. It don't come from, from a gun. It don't come from martial arts. Yes, it's good to know that. Yes, it's good to have good aim. But our power comes from keeping the commandments of God. But that's what our people don't know. We're not out here to, to go against our people. We're out here to show our people they're wrong. That's right. That's right, brother. That's right. King. That's right. Uh, All praises. All right. All right. Get some blue on those fronts. Shalom, King. And that's why you got little Billy and them over there with right. they yeah. with they make America great hats again. And you got the little Kanye's next to them. Look at little Kanye. Right. Little Kanye niggas. Kanye. Simple Kanye's. So that's what we out here trying to do. We not out here trying to cause trouble. We out here trying to show you the truth. The truth that's been hidden for ages. What is the greatest lie that's ever been told? You got two of them in the Bible. Two of them that we're exposing right now. You are not an Indian. You are not black. You are not African. You are not a Puerto Rican. You are not a Mexican. You are the children of Israel. That's right. You are the children of God. That's right. You are the holy people that, of the Lord. That's right. You are not black. Black is a color. Where can you take a plane, buy a ticket to the land of black? That's right. Where's the land of black? Show me that. Show me a white man. You've been duped. That's one of the biggest lies that's ever been told. Your history, your heritage. That's why they tell you you come from Africa. That's why they tell you you're a damn Indian. So the Lord said to come out here and teach you this. Read that, Baba Kishore. Book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry loud. The Lord said, cry loud. My boy, I'm proud of it. The Lord said, spare not. We're not sparing your feelings. We don't care if you like it or you don't. This is why they killed Christ. If Christ was speaking like the Christian church, they would have never killed him. So how the hell could Christ come for everybody if he spoke in parables? That's right. How was Christ's message for everyone if he spoke in parables? Think about it. It don't make no sense. Why would you kill a man that, that had a Christian philosophy? He ain't no damn threat. 
Right. Why would you kill him? That ain't no threat. The threat is what we out here doing. What we out here doing is prophesying and telling you that if you don't come back to the Lord God, Yahweh, by Shiva Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, that you will burn in the lake of fire with everybody in America. That's right. Because America is going down. Right. Either you want to believe it or you don't. Right. America never been great. That's right. When has America been great That's for right. our people? That's right. When has America ever been great for the North American Indians? Come and answer this question, Billy. When has America ever been great for the so-called black man? That's right. America ain't never been great. It only been great for you damn pack of woods. That's right. When you have free labor. Right. When you have free labor, that's the only time America was great for y'all. Y'all got the nerve to wear them stupid hats. And you simple Kunye West over there want to hang with your oppressor. The law said, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Uh, Understand that. Read that, Bubba Kishore. Look at Isaiah chapter 57, verse 21. There is no peace, saith my power to the wicked. The Lord said there ain't no peace to the wicked. And if you out here worshiping the same thing that your forefathers was worshiping when the land got taken from them, then damn it, there ain't gonna be no peace. Because you still worshiping totem poles. I've seen them damn little idols. I've seen them in the Bostonica. Done. You worship everything in the Bostonica and got the nerve to wonder why you still oppressed. That's right. You out your mind. You have to repent in the name of the Lord and keep his commandments. That's what we are here trying to tell you. Go ahead. Because Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Cry aloud. Stay not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. The Lord said lift up thy voice like a trumpet. They ain't want to give us the microphone. Them niggas knew better. They knew better. But we don't need no microphone. Right. You eat a buffalo. You wear a buffalo. That's right. How the buffalo gonna save you? You can't even find buffalo meat in a damn butcher store. Niggas are crazy. You worship the creations and not the creator. Worship the water, the fire. Worship all the elements. Why you don't worship the creator of the elements? Right. Christ walked on water, man. He could control the winds. He had the power to. And you want to worship the, you want to worship the wind. Worship a fire. That's the reason why the white man got his foot in your ass. That's the reason why standing rock ain't standing no damn more. That's the reason why you're all drunkards in the damn casinos and the plantations. You want to drink fire water. The Lord said, show you your sins, man. He 
said, if you make your head hard, make our head hard. Right. We ain't scared of y'all. That's right. You don't see the angels. Ain't no motherfucker scared of you neither, motherfucker. That's right. We we show respect to our God. We show you. So what you worship? So what you worship? That's the. That's the reason why you stuck on stupid. You want to call me a motherfucker, but you talking all that ignorant. You don't even know what we talking about. Dumbass niggas, man. A bunch of demons, always talking out their ass. Always talking out their ass. But you won't say that to this peck of wood when to make America great hat again. That's right. Damn, Uncle Tomahawk. That's right. That's right. A bunch of Uncle Tomahawks. Why you don't crack that peck of wood with the head on? That's right. <laughs> Why you don't crack his head? That's right. Why you don't speak to him like that? That's right. Because you're an Uncle Tomahawk. That's right. You think that's just, that's Uncle Tom's? You're Uncle Tomahawk. That's right. Out your mind. Got your head up the white man's ass. Talk about peace, peace. Ain't gonna be no peace. You're gonna be ripped in pieces. Thus save the Lord if you don't repent from your wicked ways. That's what we out here trying to tell you. Huh? Where it shows it? Give me Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. We're going to show you hate in the Bible. Let's hear it. That's a great question. I you, like you. I, that, I like that. I like that. I like that. He wants to see. He wants to see hate in the Bible. Let's see hate in the Bible. Let's see where the Christians and the Catholics don't go into. Yeshua says, speak love, not hate. Yeshua says, speak love. Love, speak. Look at we. Look, we got the the, the, the Trump supporters. He want to cover love. his hat up. And a time to hate. And a time for what? To hate. A time for what? To hate. There's no. Won't you uncover that hat? The hell with that water. What you say? See how you got these pompous Go bastards ahead, come down here in, in the middle of a a native rally with they dirty ass hat on, with they dusty ass hat on. Poor dusty ass, ass animals. There's a time for hate. He he try to mock us. He try to he say, he's talking about a time for hate. Let's read the beginning. Read Ecclesiastes. Read the Read the Read the Read the Read the Read the Verse 1, to everything there is a season. To everything there is a season. You said, to everything there is a season. Go ahead. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. And a time for every purpose under the heaven. Under the heaven. Under the heaven. When, when it's snowing, when it's cold outside, you know to put on a jacket. When it's hot outside, you know to wear some shorts. You, you see, for him, brother, for him, you're not, I'm feeding his word. Yes, you're Lord. speaking your vain opinion. Yes, you you're there. speaking yes, your you vain you opinion. I'm speaking the Bible. You see, he asked, who's good? That's your husband, right? He asked for sister, daughter. Well, you're still my brother. And you asked, where is hate in the Bible? We showing you that the Lord said there's a time to hate. You think, you think you can ever love Donald Trump? Answer that sincerity, with sincerity. You, what? You, but you gotta have, you gotta have the understanding of neighbor. What are y'all doing? What's up? You gotta understand your neighbor. What's up? What are y'all doing? I get to you. Our neighbors, according to the Bible, is people. Yes, it is. Not like it's all the same. We was the Samaritans. We was worshiping and being in the land of Samaritans. You see, tell that to Donald Trump. 
I'm just curious what you're doing. Like, what's this all about? Okay, I'm, I'm done with that. I'm not, Jesus Smith. Yeah. You want to know what's going on? Don't point at me, though. Right. I'm, I'm speaking to you as a brother. I ain't pointing at you. I won't. Brother, I'll point this way, brother. I don't mean nothing no more. Okay, I'm, I'm just showing you. You ask the question, and I want to address you because that's just ignorant now. So what we out here trying to do is show our people that they have to repent from their wicked ways, and the creations that they worship cannot save them. That's right. You understand? We have to worship our God. That's right. Our power. That's right. We're, we're, that's where our power comes from. The Lord gave us commandments. He never gave us religion. Right. He never gave us philosophies. Religion is man-made. That's religion right. Religion is a Greek word that goes by the name of religio. It means to hold back, with strain, and separate. Get out. That's, That's right. right. You got Christianity. That's why you have so many denominations of Christianity. You got Baptist. You got Lutheran. You got you got uh, Jehovah Witness. Episcopalian. Adventist. Episcopalian. All these damn religions. The Lord on the mountain, he said, thou shalt and thou shalt not. He said, thou shalt not be a faggot. He said, thou shalt not be a lesbian. That's what the Lord said. So that's what we are here to tell you. You understand? Give me Isaiah, what would you add? Give me Isaiah. Give me that. So you all are you So you all are proselytizing, baby. Wait, 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 hold on. You're you proselytizing, baby. That's right. We, we out here bringing the, we the servants of the Lord. So, certain people call us prophets. I'd rather stick to the servant. I'm just a servant. That's right. So we the servants of God, and we out here to do the will of him. Matter of fact, give me Ezekiel 33 and 17. That's what I need. We're out here to warn the people before destruction coming. Destruction is coming. As we speak right now, Every nuclear power has a has a has a nuclear bomb faced this way. That's right. They're all facing their nuclear powers, their nuclear bombs towards America. That's right. America is on its way out. That's right. That's America right. is on its last leg. Finish. Finish. Is Turtle Island. America is finished. This ain't America. This is Babylon. So Turtle Island ain't going nowhere. No, it has America to. might go somewhere, but Turtle Island ain't well, going nowhere. You understand to, that, right? According to Bible prophecy, right. 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 yes, the people, if they repent, they, 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 will, they will save be safe from this destruction. Right. All right. As long as you understand that. Right. There's a difference between America and Turtle Island. I, I, I hear Two you. different places. I, I, it's Big not, difference. Right. It's, it's not the place, it's the people. Right. Just like when it speaks about Jerusalem, it's talking about us. We are the people, the people of Israel. That's it's right. Talking about us. Right. We are a people before the land. So what we are here trying to do is show y'all, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that you are the Israelites, according to the Bible. That's right. The people that are in Israel are not the true Jews. Imposters. Some Imposters. Some Imposters. Imposters. Some of them are. Right. Some of them are. You, you can't say all of them. Right. right. Our people, You're right. The, the, that's true. That's, that's true. Right. No, that's true, brother. All right. Right, I'm not so talking. No, that's what I'm trying to tell right, you, brother. Okay. Listen, we're a remnant. The Lord said He scattered us to the four corners of the earth. Right. So there's a remnant of us in everywhere you go. If you're gonna go in China, our people, there's gonna be people that look Chinese. But they got on sweat hoods and lineage. everything. Right. Make they're America great, sweat hoods so and everything. This is what you right. call your new politicians right here. Right. These the okay. these the people so, like said, who's gonna I fuck your country up in a minute, uh, 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 Mr. White Man. Destruction comes. He warns the people. Watch. Go ahead. Unto the house of Israel. Now that's to give you Therefore, information. Thou shalt hear the out. word at my mouth. That's right. And there you shall hear the word. That's a two part. That's like a book right there. And yeah. warn them from me. So that's what we're doing out here, brother. We're warning the people. Slack it. We're not judging. We're warning you about the Slack. You good. You good. You because I got, I got judgment it, soon comes. Judgment soon coming. So the Lord said what? And warn them from me. Go ahead. When I say unto the wicked, O oh, wicked man, thou shalt surely die. die. So you see that? 
The Lord said to warn you wicked people, whoever's living foul, whoever's breaking the commandments of God, right. whoever's a faggot and a lesbian. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Like, like R. Kelly and like uh, the damn Playboy Mansion bastard. That's right. That's right. What's his name? Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Like they don't mention him. The Lord said what? And, and, and like this child molesting fat right. priest right there. Right. Father Hands. That's what they produce. Father Hands. The Catholics. The Catholics. That's right. That's right. Because the Catholics. That's right. That's what they That's right. They worship men children. That's right. And I'm one point of that That's right. I'm like, that's what I'm doing. Go ahead. When I say it to the wicked, oh wicked man, that's your silly stuff. Right. Thou does not speak to warn the wicked. So if we don't warn you in the name of God, yes, worship him. Worship your father. Look at what America produces. This is the religion of America. Let's make America great again. A bunch of child molesting faggots. That's right. Just like your damn Donald Trump. That's right. If you Google, go on YouTube, and you see your faggot president kissing Giuliani when Giuliani dressed like a drag queen. That's right. A damn faggot. That's right. That's all he is. A bunch of pedophiles. That's right. The, you want to talk about R. Kelly. Why we don't talk about the Catholic Church. Right. Why we don't talk about the Roman Catholic Church. That's right. And especially you so-called Hispanics and Negroes, you got no business calling yourself a Roman Catholic. That's right. When's the last time? When's the last time you've been a Roman? You've been a Rome. When's the last time you so-called blacks, Hispanics, been a Rome? That's right. And you were chosen people because you made it to the head first. Come on, man. This nigga scoffing now. Now, now he being an Uncle, Uncle Tom. Uncle That's right. Don't be an Uncle Tom. That's right. Don't be. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that, brother. Our people always want want to get physical. You jumping up. You jumping up. Our people always want to get physical, man. Cause you want to coon now. You, you, you want a coon now. Ain't no coon here. You, you might as well put on one of them red hats. You might as well put on one of them red hats. You're a simple uncle turn. That's right. I hear you. I see, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? But he preaching the hate. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this dumbass nigga, man. Dumbass nigga, man. Nah, he ain't doing that. Stupid ass niggas, man. Uncle Tomahawks. This the dumb is the ass out of here, man. In the condition that we in. I ain't with this nigga, man. I'm telling you, you about to be scared. I'm God. God. You ain't God. I, I, I damn right I ain't God. I'm warning you, nigga. I'm warning you, nigga. That's right. I'm Shut not. Up. I'm not. Shut your big ass up. Speak like that to your parents. parents are dead. Well, then speak like that to them. Let me ask you speak something. Like let me hold on. Hold on. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something, car. Why you ain't? You got all these dirty ass crackers behind you right. with a red, with a red "Make America Great" hat again on, and your coon ass. You wanna fight your brother? Right. You got all these racist bastards right. with red. You nigga, right. you nigga, right. with all these crackers with with racist ass "Make America Great" hats on, and you gonna talk about you gonna get violent with us? Get your, get your old Uncle Tom ass out of here. Get your Uncle Tom ass out of here. Get your, your super Sambo ass out of here. Super Steven ass nigga, man. Leave him alone, brother. He, he, he trying to make a show now. You got your five minutes of fame. Look at all these damn Peckerwoods. This is what the Lord is coming for. All these Peckerwoods with America, make America great. That? This nigga want to talk that, that garbage that? about nigga what you want to do. Look at all these dusty ass crackers. With that racist garbage on. Look at these dirty ass crackers. Can't stand in the damn sun for five minutes. Why you don't build the damn wall? Can't stand in the damn sun. Let me ask y'all something. Y'all wanna build a wall for Mexico's? When's the last time you ever seen a Mexican, a Hispanic, a Native American, or a Negro shoot up a school? Yeah, crickets. Yeah. Crickets. Yeah. All you crickets. Is crickets. That's right. Look at their ass. They ass scattered off of that. They ass scattered off of that. 
that. They look like they're about to shoot Look at their ass, right Israel. They ass gone off of that. Look at that mob of these right. dirty animals. That's they right. gone. That's how you dismiss that. That's right. The truth going to be told whether y'all want to hear it or not. Thus saith the Lord. You don't see blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and then, and, 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 and nobody on the face of the earth shooting up schools, shooting up churches, shooting up synagogues. That's right. But you got a problem with us. That's right. You want to build a wall? That's right. You can build a wall in front of Europe. That's right. Build a wall in front of Europe. That's right. You out your mind, you want to you wanna build a wall in stolen land. You practice a crazy. That's right. You practice got some damn nerves. That's why everybody hates your ass. That's right. Jim Kong Hu, Jim Kong Hu got a new for, 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 for President Trump with his name on it. That's right. The Chinese can't stand a damn white man. That's right. The Russians can't stand American. That's white right. Man. That's right. Nobody can stand y'all. That's right. I got a problem when we speak up for the justice of our people. That's right. We would you fight here. Stop playing. Stop disrespecting. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. You want to, you talk about Jesus Christ is coming with candy, flowers. The Lord said he's going to come with fire. What is the fire that he's speaking about? Your nuclear yes. bombs, man. That's how the Lord is coming. Go ahead. And with the chariot like a whirlwind. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. What is the chariots? I'm going to drop something on you. The chariots are the so-called UFOs, man. Y'all don't believe in that? Y'all don't believe in that? I know y'all don't. Y'all think we comic book characters. Y'all think we crazy. Y'all think we deranged. But guess what? The Lord said, surely oppression make a wise man mad. And if you niggas ain't mad, it's because you have absolutely no wisdom. Okay, go ahead. Surrender his anger. Surrender his anger. That's what the Lord is coming with. With his anger. Now you want to be a simple nigga too. What's wrong with you? See? Put, on a, put a red hat on this clown. Put a red hat on this clown. Look, look at the crackers. Look at, look at these devils over here. Y'all want to laugh and, 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 and boost him up. He gonna get his five minutes of fame. You're, you're, a, you're a, a asshole on a skateboard. You're a big asshole on a skateboard. As soon as he get too close, his ass gonna get, he gonna get punished. Don't get, too get too close, your ass gonna get Don't punished. Get too close. I tell you that much. Look at up. Look, now they come back. Now they come, look, he took his hat off. Now they come back. You freaking crackers. You crackers are some slivery ass bastards. Yeah, you better keep your distance. Go ahead. Go ahead. See these demons out? They vicious, ain't they? The Lord said, by with fire and his sword, he's going to plead with all flesh. That's how the Lord is coming. Your white Jesus is not in the Bible. There's no such thing as a white Jesus. This ain't, this ain't the Christ of the Bible. So when, the, when we speak like this, it's because, and, and you think we're crazy, it's because you believe in a faggot child molester. That's the problem. But you don't want to hear this. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. A lot of people. Hey, Leslie, you take your dusty ass somewhere and lay down. Because we ain't talking to you anyway, Jaffet. The Lord ain't playing with y'all. Y'all think it's a game. It's time to repent. Your Christian church ain't teaching you the truth. Because they got this bastard up. Your Catholic church ain't teaching you the truth. Because they got this child shut it shows a dream or somebody That's had a dream of, uh, of or prophesied uh, with this white man on the horse, with the Indian man on one side and a black man on the other side. Uh, what, what chapter is that in the Bible? It's not. It's a stop. I know, but it was foretold. It was going to happen. Uh, That's a native man in the... In the call, call that number. I'll give you the scriptures and he clean the ass. You need to tell him to tell these Indian people that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's being true. I got it. Like the North American Indians say. They've been lying. They never uphold it. One peace treaty. Now one peace treaty. They broke every peace treaty. 
they broke every agreement. But y'all look at us like we crazy. Y'all think we're messing up just angry black men. than butter. Check this out. This is the way the so-called white man got this land. Go ahead. But war was in his heart. But war was in his heart. War was in the so-called white man's heart. Just like today. Go ahead. His word was softer than oil. His word was softer than oil. He said, we're going to give you 40 acres and a mule. He ain't even give you niggas a pink ball. That's right. He ain't even give you niggas a chihuahua. That's right. But you got your nerve to think that this white man is going to uphold the agreements, the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. Then why you being an asshole, As soon as you man? touch my shit, you, your you ass going asshole, down. Man? You going down. You, you, you get why too you close. Why you being an asshole? Get too, get, you being get too close. You being an asshole. Get too close. Your ass going to be laid out. Get too close. You peckerwood ass bastard. What you spreading? What you spreading? You want to be pressed? You want to be that press? Get too close, your ass gonna be laid out, you damn peck of wood. You a damn bozo. This is the reason why. I bet you he's a dumbass Puerto Rican. I bet you you're a simple Puerto Rican. That's my simple ass tribe. And I can speak about Puerto Ricans because you looking at one. The hell's wrong with you simple niggas? So the Lord said his word was smoother than butter. Butter, go ahead. His words were softer than oil. Yet, go ahead. Yet were they drawn swords. Yet were they drawn swords. When they came to America and they came with their peace treaty after you showed them what a turkey was, after, after you civilized the these dirty this guy. He think I'm playing watch. Well. As soon as After he get you too close, I'm going to tear his ass feet. up. Where my other staff at? Okay? That's why you tell me. You seen that blue staff? We throw him up. Huh? Yeah, you think I'm playing? I'm going to whack the fuck out of his ass. Let him get too close. I'm going to tear his ass up. You see this? This is what, this is what America produces. You think it's a game? I'll punch your ass on me. You look like a Republican, you freaking demon. This, put a red hat on this Republican. Put a red hat on this Republican. And, and, and let, me, let, me not, let me not just get on the Republicans because the Democrats ain't no better. There was more black and Hispanic people locked up during the Clinton era than any other president. But you so-called blacks and Hispanics got the nerve to call Bill Clinton your first black president. You out your mind. Why? Because he got a little hand in the office? Because he smoked Look at Esau. Look at the demons. This is Vicious why crowd. You him to be they your love that drum. That's why you fell for the words that were stupid and funny. Leslie, shut your ass up. And look what Bill Clinton, look what the Clintons did to Haiti. They sucked the blood out of Haiti. That's right. What happened in Haiti? What happened to the money that American Red Cross was giving Haiti? Where is it at now? Haiti still ain't got no hope. Haiti still ain't got no help. Y'all want to pray for Paris. The hell with your stupid pirates. That's right. You want to you want us to pray for all your damn nations. You owe you owe Haiti reparations. Haiti kick the French's ass. And what happens when you win a war? You supposed to spoil go to the winner. Look all these America make America great again crackers. But y'all don't see that. Okay, so that's what we are here trying to do. Show you not only the lies that was taught to our people, but that was taught to the world. You want us to pray for everybody except our people. Why are you not praying for Mexico? 
Why you not praying for Puerto Rico? Right. Why you not praying for Flint, Michigan? That's right. Why you not praying for Standing Rock? Right. But you coons want to build a damn wall. When you you wake up and you want to call us terrorists, thugs, gangsters, the biggest terrorist on the face of this earth is the pale-faced man, woman, and child. That's the that's the ones. Come closer, you won't catch this. Come closer, you won't catch it. Come closer, you won't catch it. Go ahead, man. With the sun, chapter 55, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord. So the Lord said, cast thy burden upon the Lord. Go ahead. And he shall sustain you. And he shall sustain thee. This is what happens. Every time Christ I know what's brought happening. out the word, every time the prophets brought out the word, there was always scoffers. There was always scoffers. But in the new kingdom, this man would get his head cracked to the white meat. Look it up. To the white meat. His blood will be on his skateboard. His blood will be on his skateboard and his shoes. That's what's going to come. That's what's going to happen. And guess what? It might happen sooner than you think with the American shutdown. With the government shutdown. The government shutdown is going to trickle down. Okay? It's going to trickle down to what? To the police. It's going to trickle down to the, to the security guards. You ain't going to be able to call 911, type of one. You ain't going to be able to call 911. Call the storm, Caroline. You're not going to be able to. We're going to see the survival of the finished death. We're going to see the purge. Because the purge is coming. I hope you crackers are ready. That's right. I hope you crackers are ready. That's right. Because we know where to go get the food. From. That's right. We know where to That's get That's right. We hope y'all are ready. I hope y'all ready. We hope you ready. That's right. Y'all better be ready. We hope you ready. Go ahead. Chapter 32, verse 16. But they mocked the messages of the Most High. Perfect. But they mocked the messages of the Most High. May the Lord strike him down and his damn children. May the Lord strike your mother and your father down. I wish I knew the curses in Hebrew. I know. Yeah. I pray that the most high cast your spirit down. <laughs> I pray the most high cast you into the pits of hell. This is a five dollar Indian. This is what a five dollar Indian looks like. These are not your people. These are culture culture. Why white people wanna wanna be everything except who they are? Why you don't claim your history? Why you don't claim Fred Flintstone? Why you don't claim Bonnie Rebel? How can we love somebody that hates us? How can we love somebody that hates us? We love you as much as Donald Trump loves us. That's how much we love you. The feeling is mutual. The feeling is mutual. That's how much we love you. We do love you. We do love white people as much as Donald Trump loves us. The feeling is very mutual. Hey, Shawapa. Soon as he make a mistake, I'ma tear his ass up. I'm telling you. I'm trying to be patient, but soon as he make a mistake and clip up on somebody, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on his ass. Right. 
So that's what happens. You want to mark the messenger. But y'all got to set it down. Because the capital on your head. Right? Y'all got to bring up R. Kelly. Why are you not bringing up the Catholic Church? Why are you not bringing up the Pope? Why are you not bringing up the Pope? Huh? Why are you not bringing up the Pope? Huh? Keep your counsel. Give me Romans 13 and 11, Brother Bashar. We got to be Give me that. It's Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. The Lord said thou has <coughs> had a perpetual hatred. You want us to love you, but you don't love us. Right. You want us to love you. The Lord said he had a perpetual hatred. Who's he speaking about? You so-called white people. <laughs> Hey, as soon as he get too, as soon as he get too close, I'ma knock him off that joint and I'ma fuck ground? him up. Right. Is this a stay in your state ground? Listen, it ain't got nothing to do with that. Is this a stay in your state ground? Nah, it's a keep your personal space ground. Make America great looks like. This, when was it great? When was it great? I dare you to say it. Right, since, exactly. Since it started, since you had us in slavery, you right. That's, right. That's the only time that it was great. Look where we at, where? Look where we at. Look at my people. Look at my people. First nation that's gonna die. Shut down, huh? And eventually, that's gonna stop. Let me ask you something. Go ahead, go ahead. If this the best nation, why y'all can't, why y'all can't get rid of life season? If y'all the best nation, get rid of that damn lice on your back. Get rid of lice. Get rid of lice season. <laughs> Goddamn dog. Get rid of your lice. But but see, but see, there's a reason why. There's a reason why y'all y'all outnumber us and y'all keep y'all distance. There's a reason for that. You know why? Because you don't see the angels around us. You don't see angels around us. You couldn't do, you couldn't touch us if you wanted to. You couldn't touch us if you wanted to. You don't see the angels around us. You worship blasphemy. We got angels that are blasphemy for us. You don't see stuff. Hey, do y'all understand who the real caveman is now? You understand who the real caveman is now? 
And guess what? We surrounded and they won't do a damn thing. Look at this. Bold as a lion. Make America great again. Bold as a lion. Look at these. See that? See that? See that? See that? Bunch of Donald Trump incest children. And when you see us, it's five of us. Look at this. It's five of us, and they got us surrounded, Yo. King. Look at this God. All praises to Yahweh by some of my That's right. That's right. Look at these see a deep. Hey, look. Look at Look at this, ah. Get them. Get this crap. Look at this shit. Wait. Who say the pull up boys? Yo, yo. Who say the pull up boys gonna pull up and turn it up? Look that shit below. Hey, I'm turning up with Esau. He uh, Esau in this caveman thing. I'm turning up. I'm turning up. Cause you know what? You, 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 you dirty bastards better be ready. You better be ready. Look at, look at, look at Esau. The future justice in the Huh? You say what? The future justice in the Come, come. Come. See how much they respect you, Israel? Look all of them. All these Americans. Go ahead, what you say? That's right. Here come Gad. Here come Gad. Here come Gad. Look, look at our Make America Great Again hats. Look at the hats. Look at the hats. We ain't taking. Look, we not taking. Look at Gad. That's right, Gad. Look at Gad. Gad not playing. He came to the rescue. Our elder right there. Look at him. Yeah, y'all better not touch him. Y'all better not touch him. Put, his, put yeah. that thing down, don't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he calm all these spirits yeah, right yeah, down. Yeah, huh? serious with it, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, serious with it. He calm all these spirits. <laughs> right the spiritual right there. He calm all these spirits down. That's right. All, all these spirits is getting demonic. He calm all that down. Say that again, King. All these spirits is getting demonic. Yeah, King, he calm all these spirits down. That's right. All these spirits got calm down. And Gas stepped in front of us too, huh? Look how they mock, serious mockery. With they let make America great again hat, serious mockery. Look at that. America will be destroyed by nuclear thermal destruction. That's right. Mockery. You had a native rally with make America great again hats. That's right. That's right. That's right.
your future. That's it. Right. What, what you about to go postal? You about to go postal? Uh, go take a shit. That, that's the that. Do it, but, but but go but go shoot up a school before you do it. Go shoot up a school before you do it. Think about it. When have you ever seen one of our people shoot up a school? You never seen nobody shoot up a school. Guess what? Guess what? All of you got the school shoot a haircut. No, you too. It's a school shooter. It's in your, it's in your eyes. It's in your eyes. I'm telling you, it's in your eyes. Yeah, y'all about to shoot up a school right now. How are you gonna tell somebody to shoot up a school? That's like really weird, right? Yo, be careful. Everybody, do that. This is education, don't you? Oh, you proud? Hey guys, back it up. Hey, back it up! Back it up! Your, your college degrees was paid off of the bloodshed of slavery. Your houses, your, your mortgages, everything your parents own was given to you by the bloodshed of our people. You, that's right. You, you are succeeding. By the bloodshed of the captivity that's of racist, the North bro. American Indians, that's racist, bro. of the so-called Negroes, that's racist, bro. Black blood, black is best. Black blood, black is best. Black blood, is best. Let the folly continue. Right. He said, "This racist. What the hell is all this? Right. What the hell? What the hell is you see a crackers with make a America great hat on? Yeah, you's a cracker. You's a cracker. All of you crackers. Oh, they gonna call him? They gonna call one black man? Y'all got y'all got one nigga in the crowd, huh? One nigga in the crowd. One nigga, huh? Y'all got one nigga in the crowd. Oh, you got two niggas in the crowd. Oh, two niggas in the crowd. Look, look at this simple group. And how many, how, how, and I'm going to say a pause moment. Oh, come on. Come on, shorty. Come on, shorty. Come on, man. You ain't seen the movie? Why you being mean? Get out, nigga. That's right. That's right. Get out, nigga. The only nigga. That's the only one y'all can bring to the front. Hey, we got one hoe, but he ain't here. Oh, y'all got one hoe. Oh, you see that? You see that? But we're racist. But we're the racist. Ain't that so? Ain't that so? This is the face of America. Hey, this is the face right now. This is the face of America. I don't shake your hand. Look, y'all step back, man. Just step back a little bit. I don't shake your hand. We respect the dialogue. Just step back. Keep out, keep out, keep out, keep y'all distance, man. Yo, if I had, when you went to shake my hand, if I had a bounty in my hand, I would throw it at you like Trump. I go like this to you. I do it like that. Yeah, I got water. You gotta send that. Oh, you got Trump water? You got Trump water? What, what is right? What, what does the Trump water taste like? Incest? Tastes like incest? Because he's close to us. Oh, you got water. Come on, you got water. Let's get this out. Let's get this out. It's high time. Go ahead. To awake out of sleep. These days, scary. They better step their not ass only back. Our people been. They know they not scary. But you got the American dream. You're sleeping with the American dream. You believe America? America will what you be say? great again. What you say? You believe America will be great again. Young Klansman. Go ahead. Look at your clothes. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. 
You think there's no hope for blacks and Hispanics. You think there's no hope for the Native Americans. But guess what? Hope is coming. And Jesus Christ is not a white man. This ain't Jesus Christ. No, it does matter. It does, the truth matters. This, this is a faggot child molester. This ain't Jesus the Christ. Jesus Christ be perfect. No, he's not perfect. If you read the Bible, you'll see he's a man of color. Boom! And guess what? Christ is coming back. Christ is, Christ is coming back to kick your red asses. That's where Christ is coming. Christ is coming back to kick your crackers' asses. Right. Listen to him because you might lose your scholarship. You might lose your scholarship and you might be on the wall. You better get out, brother. All right, Santa Claus. You better get out, brother. That's all I'm saying. Santa Claus is white. You you actually you're even wrong on that. You're even wrong on that. Saint Nicholas was a black man. But you don't know that. You believe everybody is white. Hey, you gotta claim your few, claim your past, claim your true history. Claim the Greeks. Claim the Romans. The Greeks was a bunch of homosexuals. Just like the Romans. You what? You proud of sodomy? He said he's a product of sodomy and he's proud. He's proud to be a product of sodomy. A product. He's a product of sodomy. He said he's a product of sodomy. Just like the church. Excuse me. Just yes, like sister. The okay. We're, still uh, listen, we're moving listen. this way. Yeah. I know y'all a little younger than me. Uh, no, that's all right. Show right. Go on YouTube, right? And y'all can look it up for yourself. Check this out. I'm going to give y'all something. Check this out. Go on YouTube. It is back. Keep the distance, man. Donald Trump kisses drag. You're going to see your president kiss Rudy Giuliani dressed in a drag you on the hey, Most of us can't your, even vote. Your president is a homosexual. Oh, no. <laughs> so I can Israel, my battery gone. My battery gone, so I got to go catch the footage later, all right? We're going to have all the footage. Shalom, Barbara Rockefeller, I love y'all. Donald Trump took the gays, told the gays they can't be in the army. Ain't y'all supporting Trump? Ain't y'all, give me, give me your Isaiah 26. Ain't y'all supporting Trump? I'm a girl. How is it not a real book when, when you go in the judge in the court office and they make us swear on it? They make us swear on the Bible. How is it not a real book? It's a real book. It's a real book. Because you swear on lies. Do you understand that? This is the hip. Let me show you. If this is not a real book, let me show you what the Bible says about your country. Give me that. Words aren't real. Check this out. They're not going to read this in the Catholic Church. They're not going to read this in your Christian church. Check this one out. Hey, that's a I was telling him against a hypocritical nation. The, I'm going to speak up. The Lord said he shall send us against a hypocritical nation. You make us swear on the Bible. You got on the back of the court system, in God we trust. On the back of your dollar bill, it says, in God we trust, but you give faggots rights. The Bible, the Bible condemns homosexuality, man. So guess um, what? You don't have to swear on the Bible. Bible. You can swear on the Bible. Oh, a hypocritical nation. A hypocritical nation. You make us swear on the Bible, but you judge us by your penal code system. We don't judge you. You don't judge us by the law of God. How you don't? How you don't judge? You got judges, man. How you don't judge us? You give twenty-five to life. That's the law. That's right. And you. What? What? Who? Tell that to Bill Cosby. Tell that to Bill Cosby. Why you don't judge? What are we laughing at? Listen to you. You. I can see what you ate. Some brownies. You ate brownies. You took a, a piece of the peace pipe. What did you do?
Right. I see. I can see it in his face. Right. There you go. Pull out the cards. So, what the Lord said is y'all hypocritical niggas. And against the people of his wrath, he shall give him charge. And that's the Yeah! 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 With that, y'all gotta go. No, we're not equal. Go home and understand America will burn. That's the Lord. That's how they're going to be the we, got we got the damn preacher the doing a prayer demons. circle. What the hell is going on here? Now this is a peace circle? Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Ain't going to be no peace until blood is shed. Because you got to give up this land that's stolen. That's right. You got to give it up. It was built on rape, robbery, and murder. And you have to give it up. That's the only way you're going to have peace. Get Matthew 6 and 5. You got to give up this land, man. Bring that Matthew 6 and 5. That's what's out. happening here. You got the Trump supporters, and now you got the Democrats in front of us. Hey, give them five what the hell's going on here? 6 and 5? Yeah. Go yeah. hand in hand. Give them Matthew 6 and 5 first, bro. Yeah, yeah, you go You got the preacher in the blue shirt. Who? The preacher? He got the collar on in the blue coat. Matthew 6 and 5 will tear that up. You got the Catholic Church here. Put them back. The child molesting Catholic Church here. This is, what we, this is what we come to. How long are we going to stay in the Catholic Church? How long are we going to continue to worship idols in the Catholic Church? Where is Hail Mary in the Bible? There's no Hail Mary in the Bible. You can't worship Mary. You're supposed to worship the Lord. You over here making prayers. Prayers in the front of the White House. The Lord said, give me that Proverbs. I need that Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. He that turneth his, his ear away from the law. Go ahead. Even his prayer shall be abomination. Even his prayer shall be abomination. If you're a bunch of child molesters, if you're a bunch of faggots, if you're a bunch of dykes, the Lord said your prayer ain't being heard. Go ahead. Who so causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way? Who so causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way? Go ahead. He, he shall fall himself into his own pit. He shall fall unto himself into his own pit. That's what's going to happen here. And that's why the, the Republicans left, because the Democrats started praying. Yes, sir. That's why they left. America is just a bunch of confusion, man. It's a bunch of confusion. You don't keep the commandments of God. That's why America will burn. You want to pray for a land that's about to be up in smoke. America's about to be the up in smoke talk. That's right. Go ahead. Look at Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. The Lord said, when thou prayest, thou shalt not be like the hypocrites. Hypocrites are. Go ahead. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues. Go ahead. And in the corners of the streets. And in the corners of the streets. Y'all a bunch of hypocrites. That's man. right. When did y'all pray for Puerto Rico? When did you pray for Haiti? That's right. When did you pray for Flint, Michigan? That's right. You ain't praying for our people. We ain't praying for your wicked houses. That's right. Thus the Lord. Go ahead. That they may be seen of men. That they shall be seen of men. That's what y'all are. Y'all being seen of men. Y'all want to do this for a show. That's right. Verily right. I say unto you, they have their reward. Did you have your reward? Your reward is your Catholic church being tax exempt, being child molesters and getting away That's with That's right. It. You've been raping child children since 1492. That's right. In the Catholic church. That's right. You've been raping children in Rome before you got here. That's right. In the Catholic Church. That's right. right. But y'all don't read these scriptures. Right. Now, now the what happened? What you say? Who wrote the scriptures? Who are you praying to? Hold on, you gotta back up. Don't touch me. 
Okay, but you got to move back because I don't want your spit to come in my face. But sometimes people talk, you got extra saliva. Listen, we love you. Okay, okay. If you love us, give us our land back. That's right. Okay, then you don't love us. So, so if you love us, let's, let's see what the Bible says about love. Let's see what, if you truly love us, let's go to the word of God and prove it. Prove if you love us. Did she take your land? See, you are the descendants of your forefathers. Okay. You are you you we we are the descendants of slaves. You know you know who sold slaves into slavery? How are we not slaves? We're gonna wait. Well, let's deal with one at a time. She said she loved us. Let's see. Let's see what the Lord said about love. If you love us, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Sixty-six twenty-three. That's the uh, 1421. Okay, because you got to understand, uh, love, y'all mix up love. According to the Bible, love is keeping the commandments. Love is not an emotion. You can't, love is a deed. You got to prove it. You can't just say you love somebody and not show it. That don't make no sense. You got to think about it. So how can you say you love us, but yet we're sitting on stolen land? Yet we have no reparations, but the Jewish people... They have reparations. They have a Holocaust museum. Where is our 40 acres and a mule? You ain't even give us a pit bull. That's right. We don't even got a German That's right. We got a black history museum that we have to pay. We have to pay to get in. You said you love us. Let's see what the scriptures say. Y'all have a whole month. Right. They go to they go to white man love right there. They go to white man love right there. The law said, listen, listen, before listen. The law said prepare slaughter. For what? Prepare slaughter for his children. Prepare slaughter for his children. Go ahead. For the iniquity of their fathers. Of your fathers. The iniquity of your fathers. You have to pay for your sins just like we paid for our father's sins. That's right. That's why we're stuck in the condition that we are in. That's right. Because we stopped following the commandments of God. You know Every the time the children of Israel stopped keeping the commandments of God, God threw them into the That's right. Captivity. That's right. So, right. You don't love right. Us. Nobody, nobody except Miss White Man. You got, you got to go. I just want to say that this is getting a little more heated than it should be. It's not heated. It's, it, this is we we don't speak like child molesters in the Catholic Church. We speak like men. We speak with authority. Why you think they 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 stone Paul? Why you think they killed Christ? Christ didn't speak like the Catholic priest. If they did, they would have never killed him. Christ spoke with authority. Christ was a man of God. Every prophet, the, they, there was people that came out to mock them. Okay? They mocked them. They threw stones at them. You know what happened with, with, the, with the prophet Elijah? When the, when the children mocked him for being bald-headed? Hmm. What did the prophet Elijah do? You know what he did? He called two, two no, a couple she-bears on mm -hmm. him. He prayed to God and called she-bears. And them she-bears destroyed them children from limb to limb. What was it, 42? So so you got to understand these things that we're talking about we're speaking with authority. We don't have a microphone. So we got to speak not just for you to hear us, but for everybody to hear us. So when you say it's getting heated, no, we're just speaking so everyone can hear us even the people over there. Right. Ain't no heated. You didn't see the people behind us? That was heated. Why you ain't say nothing about make America great again? There was like a thousand of them on the steps. You see, and they had one black guy that they pulled up there. Mm -hmm. They said, listen, we got a black friend. Look, we're not racist. Yeah, the they token. pulled one. That's the token. You understand? Yeah. So there's nothing heated out here. We just speak with the authority and the permission of God. So understand what we're speaking is not racism. Yeah, I know. It's the truth. It's the truth. I feel a little Read bit the rest of that. You're not a child in the lesson. You, right, but you might not be a child molester, but you'll you you probably be a victim if you become a usher boy. You understand? I've been and, an usher boy for six years, and I've never had to. Okay, had to do with that you know how many cases that get swept under the rug in child molestation cases? Okay, and let me ask you something. Give, you you ask something? Give me, give me, give me. Do the uh, Exodus the twenty chapter, twenty and three. What's the first commandment in the Ten Commandments? You're a Catholic. You've been an usher. You you must know the Ten Commandments. You need help? No. What are you learning in it? Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Huh? I am the Lord your God. You should not have other gods. There you go. You're right. It took you a while, but you got it. 
Thou shalt have no other gods before me. When you right. walk into the Catholic Church, okay, what's the second commandment? What's the second commandment? Guys, you're not change what's the second commandment? What's the second commandment? Thou shalt have no graven images. Every, when you walk in the Catholic Church, it's filled with idols. When you worship and kiss and bow down to a statue, you're breaking the commandments of God. So the Catholic Church is totally against God. Right. Not even speaking about the child molestation. We, we'll leave that one alone. But against God's laws and commandments, yes, they break them all. You say, Hail Mary, full of grace, right? You say that prayer. Where's that prayer in the Psalms? Where's that prayer in the Bible? When Elizabeth encounters Mary for the first time after, after Mary received the uh, Lord to her feet, she went to visit her, her cousin Elizabeth, her relative Elizabeth, who was also a child of John the Baptist. And Elizabeth presented to Mary, Mary full of grace. So, so that, that becomes a prayer? It's not so much work. No, but it's a specific woman who, who, who wiped his feet with oil in the head. Huh? All right, so you're supposed to honor her and, and acknowledge her. He said, wherever the gospel is preached, you acknowledge her. He didn't say nothing about her. He didn't say nothing about his mother. Man. On the cross, he told the apostle to hold your mother. And in the text, he said, honor your mother and your mother. Right. He said, he said, so Mary is, so Mary that means, is the that means hold her down. Salaki, so he was talking to Peter. So once he gone, it was custom that any time we pass, was he talking to Luke or Peter? No, he was talking to Peter. He was talking to Peter. So what was when when his when he died, he was telling his brother that now this is your mother. This is your mother. That's what he meant. Let me show y'all something real quick before y'all. Ruth 1 and 17. Ruth chapter 5 verse 17. For we have sinned before the Lord. For we have sinned before the Lord. And he's speaking about the children of Israel. Because from Genesis to Revelation, he's speaking about the children of Israel. Go ahead. And disobeyed him. And have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our God. And disobeyed him and not hearkened to the voice of the Lord our God. Go ahead. To walk in the commandments that he gave us openly. To walk in the commandments. Go ahead. Since the day that the Lord brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt. Since, since we came out of Egypt, we still haven't been worshiping the Lord. We always fell. Why? Because we fell worshiping religions, philosophies, doctrines, and idol worship. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Unto this present day. Unto this present day. Go ahead. We have been disobedient unto the Lord our God. Yeah. Our God now is speaking again to the children of Israel. Now, what, what they don't teach in the Catholic Church is that we are the children of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the children. We are the lost sheep. We are the lost children. Go ahead. And we have been... Go ahead. Negligent and not hearing his voice. You see that? We've been negligent and not hearing the Lord's voice. Go ahead. Wherefore the evils cleave yes, unto thanks. us. Wherefore the evils cleave unto us. And this is the reason why a lot of our children are being raped in the Catholic Church. That's the reason why. We're here to teach. Yes. We're here to teach the Word of God, the Bible. Who? What's up with the brass? You said, were they talking the to us? The brass burn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, we, we're, not, we're, we're, not, good. we're not worried about we're that. We was, I mean, we, we, we wasn't threatened by them. It was, it was, a, it was okay dialogue. Sometimes okay. stuff get like that. Right. So, Understand. you know. Well, you asked what the brass is. The brass is what we, that's what Christ's feet was described as. Christ like had feet. Brass. Like Don't brass, like, like it was burnt in the furnace. Good? Yeah, we good. Yeah, we're we're good. good. No, they're good. They, they, they were okay. You. We have no, no threat. About, like, uh, yeah. The number of people that were no. Out there. no. Yeah, there's, there's a number of. There's a number of angels that you don't even see. <laughs> There's a number of angels. You know, so that's that's what it is. This is we go on blind faith. We okay. walk in the commandments of God, so we're good. 
Thank you. Yeah, we were, we didn't feel threatened. Thanks, thanks though. We we didn't feel threatened. They didn't threaten us. Okay, cool. All right. All right, y'all be good. All right, y'all too. Y'all too. All right. So yeah. So listen, give me Ecclesiastes See that? Just like Amos said, them angels, man. Ecclesiastes. That's the Most High too, man. What was that experience like for you guys? What's that? What just transpired? I let the teacher handle that. That's just that's. Of America and what's going to happen? You think the government shutdown is going to continue to 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 not bring forth these type of spirits when the WIC checks get cut off, when the food stamps get cut off? There's going to be more of this. The Bible speaks about race wars. Race wars are coming to America. They're going to be. It's going to be full fledged purging out here. You think the purging? All of all these movies in Hollywood. They prophesy, they get your mind ready for the future. iRobots, you thought iRobot was a joke? You thought it was sci-fi? You thought the UFOs were sci-fi? But they got, what's this thing in Vegas? Area 51. Area 51. But you think this is sci-fi? You think the Bible is sci-fi because it speaks about unicorns? It speaks about, uh, uh, what else it speaks about? Um, talking donkeys. Talking donkeys? The, the unicorns in the Bible is what? It's a rhino. It's not a unicorn, it's not a pegasus. You understand, it's not a horse with a horn on his head and wings. So what we out here trying to do is show our people their transgression and they just riled up. We actually came here for the Native Americans because those are our people. But it just so happened to be all the Trump supporters was here. But eventually, yes, it, it, see, there goes more demons. It's, this is what Christ dealt with. Christ dealt with this. The prophets dealt with this. You see that? And people think that we're crazy, but we're actually very knowledgeable when it comes to this Bible and a lot of history. We're not your ordinary niggers. We're not your ordinary spicks. We're not your ordinary Indians. We actually research. We don't log on to Worldstar all day. We're not on Facebook all day. You understand? We actually do research, and that's the reason why people are mad at us, because we speak truth. Just like Christ. Christ got killed because he spoke truth. Right. If Christ spoke like a Christian, if Christ spoke like a Catholic, they would have left that man alone. That's right. You understand? So what we came out here to do, this is going to be the final scripture unless somebody else is going to teach. He, nah, he just wanted to, he, he, what he really was asking you, Ak, was how you... How did you take the the the, the pressure? The, the, oh. I just I want to let them know that's something normal for us. All of that, yeah. that's normal. Give me give me Psalms ninety one. Give me Psalms ninety one and was it eleven? We're gonna show you right now out of the scriptures why we didn't have no fear. Because there's a reason why we come out here like this, and of course we were outnumbered. We would have probably got our ass kicked. But we would have went down with a fight. True. But yeah, we we got a number. I True. don't care who you are. Right. There's that many numbers. You're gonna lose. True. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're Samson. True. Unless the Lord put the strength of Samson on us, we'll destroy him with a donkey ball. Right, right. You understand? Give me Psalm 91 and 11. I'm gonna get All right, Israel, I gotta go. My battery dead. We're gonna, this is last, last job. The Lord said, For he shall give his angels charge over thee. That's what I told the cops. You don't see the angels. We're, we're outnumbered, but we're really not. Go ahead. To keep us in all his ways. That's why That's why we wasn't fear. That's why we didn't shake up. That's why the, we didn't move out of our square. You know? But that's the answer to that. And if you could take this with you, we are the children of Israel, the 12 tribes, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the true children of the Bible. That's right. All right. So Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, and we out of here, brother. I believe, right? We're going to the next spot. Yeah. The brother's already sitting there waiting for us there. Good, good, they texted me about a 30, 45 minutes a crazy ago. crazy chain. Bro. This was off the chain. <laughs> <laughs> this was off the... Listen, Ock, how many more? How many jokes we had surrounded us, Ock? That was ill. No, a hundred. Oh my hundred. gracious! That was surrounded by enemies. Four hundred. Huh? That was surrounded by enemies. That was like three or four hundred jokers. Uh, uh, that was like a thousand. <laughs> Be behind us and in front, they had more than the North American. Con. They had legions. Uh, they had legions. Uh, uh, and then they started uh, to the circle us too. Uh, Con. Uh, go ahead. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter twelve, verse twelve. Verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. We came out here for gag, but we had to rebuke the devil. Go ahead. Fear God and keep his commandments. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. Go ahead. For well, this is the whole duty of man. But that is the whole duty of man. With that, we say death and destruction to this wicked Cut. place, Babylon. Right. And 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 to the oppressors that oppress our people. That's right. 
the, the four corners of the earth with white supremacy. Right. And with that, we say Shalom to the 12 tribes of Israel. Shalom. Scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Right. Shalom. Shalom. Kum ya Shalom. Kum ya Shalom. See y'all at the next set. We going to the next camp spot, Israel. We about to hit Eastern Market in front of the Starbucks, so wait for that footage too. Stay on post. We about, we be right back in the next 30 minutes or so. Shalom.